Okay. I didn't Wi-Fi you. I'll be there in one second. It says it's live. Are we live? Are we broadcasting? Okay, hopefully we're broadcasting. Um, welcome back to the Intergalactic Alliance session part two for today. We have some more coming up tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday. This year, uh, Actually, Avanti is one of our new sponsors. We're very, ha very happy to get a MIS system working with us. Yay! Um, you actually won a Graph Expo Museum this year. Congratulations for your MS MIS technology, uh, Avanti Slingshot, if I'm correct. I'd like to introduce you to Patrick Bolin, the president and CEO, and someone with very good idea about what Printing Impressions Group should do with Print Media Center. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. At home. And am I in space? Oh, okay, great. We're not live, though, right? We're live. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You'll hear a couple of abouts and, and things like that. So how's that? So uh, Patrick Boland here um, from Avante Computer Systems. Um, happy to say we won a must see uh for our JDF framework. Um, we, uh, we market, sell, and develop uh, print MIS systems. And um, new to market, we won a must see them last year for Avante Slingshot. Um, has been out in the market for about a year or so. Primary focus of the product is to reduce touches, um, and uh, we handle the full workflow uh, from estimating, uh, order, sales order entry, inventory purchasing, uh, shipping, and invoicing. Um, we have a number of integrations, um, as I said, to JDF, uh, both on the pre-press side, press and post-press, um, and then integrations into web-to-print systems as well. So. That's all I had. <laughs> Thank you. Oh God! Ask a question. Okay, here's a question. What's your website, sir? AvanteSystems.com, and I know that you're um, pretty sure that your Twitter is at, Evant at Avante Systems. And um, you just hired Joanne Gore, who actually writes for my newsletter. She's fantastic, marketing director. And we'll talk to her after this, and uh, perhaps we'll have you come back, okay? Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. He's from Canada, everyone, if anyone didn't know that. Uh, thank you. For I'm glad you made it here. Okay, awesome. Now to lighten up the mood, the vocal stylings of Mark Subers, <laughs> Group President, Media Director of the Printing Impressions Group. He, um, you you don't actually know this Mark Subers, but I refer to you as one of the people who helps me understand the way things work around here. <laughs> Um, I consider you a mentor, I consider you a friend. Shortly, as soon as my uh, gallery is up and after the uh, Graph Expo, everyone should uh, look forward to seeing the Mark Subers collection. A series of images I've been creating of Mark Subers in studio, at Studio 54 as a wrestler, so Simon and Mick Funkel uh, with Mark Mickelson, who will be here on uh, Wednesday with you. But right now, uh, Printing Impressions Group is going through a lot of really cool changes. Uh, maybe it's an evolution, it's not really changes, but I'll let Mark, you probably could talk about that better since it's your own company, but uh, I know that it, um, I've been really excited uh, a lot lately about their, uh, especially their webinar offering, so hopefully you could mention a lot of that, uh, something about that. Ladies and gentlemen, the vocal stylings of Mark, 
Velvet Subers. Thank you so much, Deb. Uh, I'm not sure how uh, velvety my voice is, but uh, I'll, I'll do my best. So um, that was quite an introduction. Um, Deb is right that uh, we have been going under uh, a lot of changes recently, and uh, most of you will probably know us. I think Deb had told me this is uh, mostly uh, the folks that are watching live um, are commercial printers, and uh, printing impressions is probably the brand that you uh, would know the best or, or interact with and engage with the most. We also have um, implant graphics that serves the implant market naturally, um, and also a brand called Package Printing, um, which clearly serves the packaging converter and, and uh, packaging markets. Um, I also have oversight on a, the publishing group from uh, NAPCO, our, our parent company, which is book business uh, and um, uh, publishing executive. So when Deb referred to going uh, over uh, an evolution, we've really moving from a, a traditional print-centric publishing company um, to really being a, a new media company. Um, and that includes changing everything from our office to the name of the corporate uh, corporation. Um, and so when you think of printing impressions, like I said, you probably engage mostly with uh, our print magazine, which probably you're used to. However, um, we're really a marketing solutions company, um, and you know I'm sure that we would want you to, as an audience, engage with us as much as you can. Um, you know, certainly keep reading our magazine, which is wonderful. But we are also multi-channel. So, so what does that really mean? Well, when we work with folks like with Deborah and, and some of our major clients out on the floor, we see here like Rico and Xerox and uh, Canon Solutions America, Canon USA. Um, we do a multitude of things with them. Um, so, you know, clearly print ads is one, um, but, but we have our online presence at piworld.com um, for the printing impressions brand. And please engage with us as much as you can. But we also have uh, a fairly robust events company now. Um, you might know us through our brand, the Inkjet Summit, a wildly successful uh, uh, new event, two years in the making here that we do down at Ponte Vedra Beach um, that uh, has been really, really quite successful. We're talking about uh, commercial printers really having a conversation about the technology around Inkjet. Um, we also have a very robust e-learning group. Um, we do hundreds of webinars throughout the year that, that I assume this audience will engage with. If you don't, I suggest that, that you do. Um, when we work with our clients, um, the really we, we talk about being very educational based um, with those webinars. These are not infomercials. These are very uh, informational based. Um, we clearly have uh, e-newsletters, and like I said, we're actually moving into event management. Um, and you know, we do our events. We also have a very robust uh, video development team that actually is on the floor here uh, shooting videos. And uh, if you subscribe to our newsletter, you will actually be seeing those. I, I suggest that you take a look. Um, Canon, Canon USA, Canon Solutions America, um, uh, you know, quite a few are, are doing videos with us this year on the floor of, of uh, Graph 14. Um, and that is really you know what it means to for our uh, revolution from being very uh print centric moving to be a truly a media company and 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 all of that you know that that encompasses uh we run 40 internal events um corporately um, and we do probably 15 or 20 uh, just in the printing impressions group alone um, that doesn't include webinars that is live face-to-face -face events we find very effective so uh, I would like you to engage with us um, online we are on Twitter we're certainly online as well um, and uh, trying to think what else I got Deb do you have any uh, Deborah do you have any questions specifically you'd like me to answer <clears throat> no questions from the audience, but okay. I want to say for me, Sandy Hubbard, I am a huge, huge fan of printing impressions and also of Deborah's columns. So Deborah is one of our bloggers and she does a fantastic yeah. job. She's also the one that keeps pushing me to get more and more active on social, which of all the things that we do, uh, sometimes we don't do the best things for ourselves. We're a marketing solution company that does a great job for some of our clients and sometimes not so much for ourselves. Okay.
Hi, my name is Dante Hamilton, and um, I would like to know, you said you were going into event management. Mm -hmm. Could you uh, give some detail about that aspect of the, the company? Sure, and, and that's a great question. Thank you. Um, like I said, we, we do corporately, um, we're moving more and more into the event management space, and really the reason is that when we look at our when we look at our clients and we look at our audience and we really see our job is to connect the two together um, in any way that's really supportive of the you know the goals of our clients right and as long as it's educational for our readership as well we do 40 events um, corporately right now and that's growing quite exponentially year over year um, and we, we kind of came to the conclusion that you know we've got an event management staff internally to run our own we have audience and we have the con ability to develop content we really have those three pieces that are required to run a really successful event and you know I, I think we're trending to having a lot of face-to-face -face events a lot of you know custom demo centers experience centers from some of the vendors here and I think they're looking for a solution to to you know for audience for content you know and for you know really the standard blocking and tackling of event management as well you know the you know you know airplane tickets and limo drives and so on so we really I mean we have everything it takes we've just never pushed it to the clients we've always done it internally and I said well, wh well why not you know we you know we've built the team why not make it client facing and why not build it so that's that's where we, I mean like I said we're doing our own events they're very highly successful and now we're sort of leveraging all of that that we have built for our clients as well I actually do have a question it's a little tangential but I think you'll what's you'll, tangential you'll, me just kidding. <laughs> okay. I think uh, that it will be, it's relevant to what you're going through, and I think it's relevant to a lot of people. You are obviously trying to champion a pretty big change at your company, mm -hmm. and I want to know, h how is that process? How do you get people to get on board with not thinking, well, that's not the way we do things around here? Because you're going from a publishing company to a media company, which also has a lot of digital aspects, I'm assuming. Yep. And uh, so so maybe you could talk us to, I think a lot of printers out there are also trying to make some sort of uh, evolutionary change in their business. And uh, I would, you know, would, uh, since you're probably, uh, I know that you're leading this, um, maybe you have some advice for people trying trying to change their models. Yeah, thank you. That's, that's a very good question. And it is a, a something that a lot of us are really facing um, it's hard you know I'm not gonna sit here and lie moving it from you know being a very print centric process print centric organization to you know e-learning events you know face-to-face -face, online events virtual events um, you know all the things that we're doing it's um, you, you know there's a lot of books like the reinventors and good to great that say you know it's all about the people to who, who you have on the bus um, we're taking a hard look at who we have and and are they really relevant you know moving forward are they willing to change or you know if they are just really stuck in being very print centric then they don't really have much of a future sadly with us and we hope you know we're, we're trying to get transition to happen however sometimes a change just needs to happen um, you know I kind of look at it sometimes it's sort of a 33% rule 33% get it 33% can be trained to get it and 33% have to go and you know these are we've 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 changed over our our I'd say 15 to 20 percent of our organization in the last year and a half and that's really you know that's what's required and and I mean clearly building the infrastructure and bringing in people you know that do social that do event management we, we you know never had that before at, at you know at NAPCO and now now we've built up full e-learning teams full event management teams you know and I think a lot of it came out of necessity <laughs> when print revenue starts to drop you know we have quite we serve five different vertical markets print publishing target marketing is one target marketing is one of our brands um, we also have served the consumer electronics group and then promotional marketing well the, the the target marketing folks were really one of the first ones to change okay because they're pure marketers and they wanted to move away from print very really quickly well you know our print revenue dropped you know through the floor quickly after 08 and uh, they were looking for something different so out of pure necessity we did start to build a, a robust event management you know the target marketing group does literally their, their calendars sold out of webinars um, and again it's just really unique ways to connect their clients you know with their audience um, so we grew from necessity and now we've you know 
got our arms wrapped around exactly who we want to be as an organization, and now we're taking the strategic steps to make that happen. I just want to thank you for your honest and non-spinny answer. I respect that highly, and thank you for being honest with us. Of course. Anyone else have a question? <clears throat> thank you so much, Mark okay, well, Thank you, Deborah, for having me. Okay, and we'll, see, it. we'll see you again on Wednesday with Mark Mickelson, the yes. editor of Printing Impressions. So thanks, everybody. We'll be back at 4 o'clock with Semper and a presentation, Tech Creative. What is that? And you'll find out and you'll want to know. So see you at 4 o'clock. Thanks, everyone.